So, I got back from the happy place yesterday at about 8 o'clock. I drove out there for, takes three hours and 20 minutes. I was there for four hours and drove back three hours and 20 minutes. And it was a disaster. <laughs> I'm not going to go into all of it, but the, <clears throat> I was supposed to go out there Monday and instead of listening to my instincts and just waiting, I tried to go out there Tuesday and I took a gamble. Um, I put in for Wednesday off. It had not been approved yet. So I was either going to drive out there and be there for a few hours and have to drive back or have the evening open. Well, that didn't work out either. I had to be back to go to work the next morning. Uh, I had some phone calls and things I had to deal with right in the middle of finding a really good spot that required I go back to my vehicle. Um, and I lost a recorder. So that was great. Um, some of you got to catch the 15, 20 minute live that I did. And to add insult to injury, the one, luckily, I got video of the same spot. It's a really cool area where a bunch of stuff has happened and where I'm going to check out next time. But um, the live I did, it had the will of death that said waiting for like four hours until I finally deleted it because I couldn't do anything else with it. So uh, it did not work out at all. And again, it's because I didn't listen to my instinct and I tried to just force my way through the day and that hardly ever works out. I should have just rescheduled. But I did have my vehicle uh, rigged up to where I've had three thermal cameras and two regular cameras facing in all different directions. Nothing happened at all. I uh, didn't feel like anything was there. No weird sounds, no nothing. I spent a lot of time after having to go back to my vehicle uh, using, sitting around and using the parabolic. So I'll have to go through all the video. Maybe I got lucky. I doubt it. But it's just part of research. Some things don't work out the way you want them to. It's very difficult. My wife thinks I'm crazy that I drive you know, almost, if I stop for anything, it's three and a half hours out there and then turn around and drive back. I've done that before knowing that I got to drive three and a half hours. I'm only going to have three hours to look, look around and then drive back. But that is, I mean, that, that should tell you the level of evidence and experiences that we've had out there are just, to me, worth it, worth the stress worth worth the bad weekends and things getting lost and everything else you know it's just a part of it but yeah um there probably won't be much to show from this unless i get super lucky but we just move forward and reschedule we've already got our next group outing schedule far enough in advance to where we should have a good amount of people one thing i do have to say though um about this area in general is I really wish there was a way to give the property owner his due credit for letting us go out there and experience these things. He's not really a believer. He trusts happy, but you know, he's never experienced anything and he's lived out there. I mean, he's, he's got friends and family that are always out there and for obvious reason we don't get the location and we don't say who he is upon his request and honestly it probably wouldn't even matter because there's the reason why we're not allowed to be out there for half the years there's dudes with guns his family and friends out there constantly but <clears throat> even when we are researching there's uh pig hunters out there that we got to worry about but everybody knows everybody. And, you know, considering how many people go out there and what a fine property it is, we really appreciate him letting us go out there. 
And we went in together, all of us that go out to the happy place, to his property. We all went in together and got him a combat knife, a K-bar that was engraved with just some words of appreciation in his name from the SCB. And I wish, you know, hopefully one day if we get the video of all videos, we can give him credit for the vital part that he's played in just letting us come out there. And whether he really believes or not being a good enough friend to let us have these experiences out there. And uh, I think he's coming around, you know. Uh, I guarantee he's watched a few Bigfoot video videos since we started going out there and happy talk to him about everything, you know. So we'll see. But I just wanted to bring that up. And if you are watching, property owner, you know who I'm talking about. Thank you. I never thought, I figured it would almost be impossible to see one of these things. And to be able to have seen two of them in such a short period of time, along with some of the best evidence I've ever seen, that's only possible because of your generosity and the generosity of Happy Harris and trust that all of you have shared with us. And from the SEB to you, we really appreciate it even though sometimes I go out there and it's a disaster of my own making. <laughs> but, you know, that's life. Anyway, we got some uh, reports coming up. I think we probably have an interview coming up too, Angie's working on. So we will keep you all updating, and I will try to get back out there as soon as possible when I have a better plan and more time. 